Hi friends, I'm Dr. Konal Pai and I'm a pediatric nephrologist. And today we're going to talk about how to make peritoneal dialysis fluid. So this video is mainly for pediatricians and intensivists who encounter patients with acute kidney injury and their patients might be requiring peritoneal dialysis. So in setups where you do not have regular PD ongoing, you might have shortage of PD fluids. So at that time, you have to make PD fluid in-house. So this video is for them. So let's move ahead. So before we go ahead, let's have a brief overview, a very brief one. So peritoneal dialysis of two types, acute PD and chronic PD. So we're not going to be talking about chronic PD because chronic PD, we do not prepare solutions. The solutions are readily available. Okay. But in acute PD, we might have to prepare our PD fluids. So coming to the types of PD fluids, they are based on the buffer which we use and the concentration of the PD fluid. If we talk about the concentration, we have three types, 1.5%, 2.5% and 4.5%. And this concentration is based on the amount of dextrose which is present in the fluid because dextrose provides the osmotic gradient for pulling the fluid. And based on the type of buffer, we have two types, the lactate based and the bicarbonate based. Lactate based solutions are readily available and the bicarbonate based ones are made in house. So today we are mainly going to be talking about the bicarbonate based PD fluid. As I said, lactate based fluids are readily available, but they are expensive. That's the main problem. And the bicarbonate based solutions are cheap and they have to be made in house. And the main indications for using bicarbonate based PD fluids is mainly if there is severe lactic acidosis and liver failure. Why liver failure? Because when the liver fails, it is unable to convert the lactate to bicarbonate to reduce the metabolic acidosis. So that's why that's one of the main reasons why we use bicarbonate based PD fluids. So coming to the main question, how do we prepare bicarbonate based PD fluids? It's very simple and very easy. So first we prepare a solution A, which is composed of 440 ml of 5% dextrose and 60 ml of soda bicarb, making a 500 ml solution of solution A, this combination. Okay. Now coming to solution B. Solution B is 1000 ml normal saline, 0.9%, 0.9. Okay. Now when we have to make this bicarbonate based PD fluid, we have to add 500 ml of NS plus 250 ml of solution A giving us 750 ml of 1.5% PD fluid. Okay. That's how easy it is. And then we can use it. Now, if we want to increase the concentration and make it 2.5%, what do we do? So now uh, we have prepared 1.5% PD fluid as per this formula. Now, to thousand we call it isotonic fluid okay so now to this thousand ml of isotonic fluid we add 50 ml of 25 percent dextrose if we add that we get a 2.5 percent pd fluid now if we want to make it 4.5 percent to the same thousand ml isotonic fluid of 1.5 percent we add 100 ml of 25 percent dextrose it's that easy After deciding our PD fluid concentrations, we need to add a little additives. So the additives which we add are heparin and potassium. So heparin is mainly added to prevent formation of fibrin clots, thus preventing blockages of our PD catheter. So how much heparin do we add? We add 125 to 250 units per liter of heparin. Okay. And coming to potassium. Uh, we do not add it immediately. We add it only after 10 cycles of PD because as PD progresses, the serum potassium levels come down. So we need to normalize those as well. So we have two options, KCl and KFOS. If only potassium is low, we can add KCl. If potassium and phosphorus is low, we can add KFOS. How much do we add? So we add four millimoles per liter or four milliequivalents per liter. Okay. that brings us to the end of the video if you like the video please click the like button and if you think that anyone would be helped by seeing this video you can share it to them and please subscribe to our channel so that i can share more videos and you can 
see those videos as well till then thank you take care